All right, so let's write this out and, uh, and see what we get. Now, the actual number that we had was 2.40 times 10 to the 14th. All right, and that was picoliters. Okay, so that's my engine, if you will. That's what I'm starting with, starting the train off. What is my uh, my first coupling? Okay, I need I have I have picoliters on top, so I need the picoliters on the bottom, and liters on the top. Okay, so I'm just going to put in the units here first. Um, and then we'll go back and put in the conversion factors. So now my picoliters will have canceled and I'll have liters. Um, so that means in order to lock in the next train, uh, train car, I have to have liters um, down here. Okay? Liters on top, liters on bottom. So now I'm using uh, this one, liters to one, one liter to a thousand milliliters. I guess I can just go ahead and write these in here while I'm going. One liter is a thousand milliliters. Um, and then I have this as 10 to the minus 12th liters is one picoliter. Just like before, I could have said one liter is 10 to the positive 12th picoliters, all right? So negative 12th if it's on the top or positive 12th if, if it's on the uh, bottom. It uh, won't make a difference however I want to do that. Okay, so um, where are we at? We're at milliliters. So my next train car, I've canceled my liters and I know that one milliliter, putting it on the bottom so that they will um, link up there, is equal to one cubic centimeter. Okay, now my milliliters cancel, and I'm running out of paper, but um, let me just carry this on down here. All right, so I'm going to say that uh, I have t uh, cubic centimeters on top, so I need cubic centimeters on the bottom. Okay, same procedure. All right, but this is where we have to realize that uh, our conversion factor is 2.54 centimeters to one inch. All right, so in order to get, uh, to get that centimeters to centimeters cubed, um, there, what I need to do is cube that whole conversion factor, all right? So I'm going to cube the 2.54, and in reality, I'm going to cube the 1 inch, but 1 cubed is 1, inches cubed is, well, inches cubed. So 1 inch cubed is 2.54 centimeters cubed, all right? And going back to our cube, if this is... Um, a one inch cube, that means there's uh, one inch, the, the length, the height is one inch, um, and the, the width is one inch. And if I converted each one of those into centimeters, that would be 2.54 centimeters, that would be 2.54 centimeters, and this would be 2.54 centimeters. Okay? So, the volume of that cube would be 2.54 times 2.54 times 2.54 or 2.54 cubed. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. Um, one last one. The uh, inches cubed I need on the bottom again to, uh, to cancel. And I know there are 12 inches to one foot but I need to, um, to cube that just like I did with this one, okay? You'll, I'll go ahead and cancel my units here. I have centimeters cubed, so that's going to cancel with 
that centimeters cubed. Um, and you'll notice also if I just put in this conversion factor like this without cubing it, what's going to happen? My units, will they cancel directly? Well, yes, this will cancel, but it's going to leave me with inches squared. Okay? Remember, units are just like variables in algebra. So it's like saying I have um, x cubed times y over uh, over x. Okay? The x doesn't cancel out all three of those. It just cancels out two of those. Okay? Or rather, it just cancels out one, leaving me with uh, two left there, x squared. All right? So what I need to do is put in two more. Okay? And that's what I did here. Another way you could do it is you could actually write this out say 12 inches to one foot, okay? And then put it out in a third time, 12 inches to one foot. So now what you see happen, I've canceled one, now this cancels another one, and it leaves me with one left, that one is canceled in the third one. And then I have feet times feet times feet gives me cubic feet, okay? So, so there it is. I have uh, my string of conversion factors. So it's just a matter of plugging that in to the calculator. Okay. And um, let's go ahead and type this in. Now, when I put this in the calculator, I'm going to say um, 2.40. But instead of doing times 10 like that, um, you don't want to do that because it can lead to some uh, confusion um, between what you have written and what the calculator is understanding. So there's a button on your calculator that serves as the times 10 all in one, right? And that's this EE button, or your, your calculator may say EXP. Either way, that's times 10, and then you notice it puts the little exponent thing in there, so I can go ahead and put in 14, um, and now that's 2.40, and it's implied times 10 to the 14th. All right, so there's that number, and then times, um, and then this will be 10 to the negative 12th, or 1 times 10 to the negative 12th. So 1 times 10 to the um, negative 12th, and you see that that negative is part of the exponent there. Um, all right, and then times a thousand, and I don't need to put that in mathematically. And then here, um, I'm going to divide that by 2.54 cubed. Okay, so um, 2.54 and then on this calculator you'll notice I have a little um, x cubed down there so I'm going to go ahead and put that and you'll notice it tells me what 2.54 cubed is and then when I press equals it does the division because of the order of operations cube uh, the power comes uh, before the division, and so it did that first, and then I pressed equals to get um, get that division. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to divide by 12 and then cubed. Okay, there's 12 cubed, and there is my final result. Okay, so in the end, um, 2.40 times 10 to the 14th picoliters is equal to um, 8.48 uh, cubic feet. Okay, um, you want to make sure our significant figures are okay. I have three to begin with here. These are all exact uh, conversions. 
including this one it doesn't may, maybe it doesn't look like that and you'd think that should be three significant figures in fact that's also an exact definition the English system is um, is uh, based on the metric system through this relationship so that is an exact definition okay but either way we we have three significant figures there so that would be the result okay so hopefully that uh, has clarified um, how we go about doing that sort of thing